Hi guys, I'm really glad to see you all in today's video in which I will share with you my thoughts on the brand new limited collection from Jamalon that is called Wildflowers and Weeds. And I personally like Jamalon as a brand. The concept of layering perfumes is very appealing to me because I love to wear several perfumes at once and I find their fragrances a mess appealing, very easy, enjoyable. They have have a lot of uh, fragrances to choose from and the pricing is all right too but I love their limited collections because I find they get really creative with them trying to make them outstanding and to smell unique and different for example I really loved the collection which was inspired by garden herbs or the one that was inspired by English fields or the one that was inspired by the group of artists which lived uh, in the English countryside and by the way I have reviews on those collections and some other Jamalons perfumes so if you want to see them check out the description box where I will leave all the links and uh, I couldn't wait till the launch of this new 2019 limited um, collection because every year in March they release a new limited collection and I hoped that they will combine wild flowers and wild herbs in this uh, collection and I honestly dreamt about it in the night and I went on for granted every day in the hope that uh, I'll find out more about the new collection and one day I did. There was an announcement of uh, Jo Malone releasing collection inspired by wildflowers and weeds. And can you imagine how excited I was? I just, I just felt that coming. And when I saw the packaging of the bottles, oh my god, have you seen them? Oh my god, they look so gorgeous and beautiful and just right up my alley like they are so so great and when I read about the notes oh my god I need some air <gasps> I talk that much guys um I need to relax so everything was just beautiful the idea of the collection the notes the packaging everything and the problem with the limited editions is that they get sold out like this really quickly and uh, I went to my local Jamalons counter I made a regis re re registration like I um, gave them my name, my phone number, and I told them that I want to have the whole collection, so we get only limited quantities, so only the first lucky ones will get what they want. So I literally went every week uh, to Frankfurt to check out if the perfumes have already arrived and uh, every time they're like no not yet not yet okay 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 and then I went to Prague to visit Tanya and when we went to Douglas in Prague I saw this collection I was like hold on hold on do you see that oh my god it is so good I've told you how amazing it is and blah 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 and uh, there was one perfume that is called Lupin and Patchouli and guys you know I love patchouli and I have a shampoo from Yves Rocher with Lupin and it smells like a spa. It smells floral but very herbal and plenty and just so healthy and when I saw that Jo Malone is gonna put lupine and patchouli in one perfume I was like oh, okay thank you I'm getting it and it had almost the most beautiful uh, bottle too so that was the first one that I tried and I was like, I couldn't believe my nose. I was like, what's wrong? Why I don't like it? Why I don't like it? Why does it smell like a boring aftershave for men? Like, that was the first disappointment. That perfume literally smelled like uh, some uh, shower gel or aftershave for men. It smelled very manly. I did not expect that. You know, I'm used to patchouli in my niche perfumes, which is a very luxurious note, and uh, I have never had Jo Malone patchouli scent, but that was just too refined patchouli. It was just manly, fresh smelling, and I have it on the paper, and oh my god, it just smells like some Hugo Boss perfume. And I was like, okay, I'm not getting it. It costs some money. The bottle is beautiful. I'm still thinking of getting it because the beauty 
beautiful bottle but I don't know I don't know I didn't get it I got three perfumes though which is a lot because the whole collection is pretty average I expected much more because the notes sounded like oh my god lupine in the flower wow willow wow okay that's interesting but fragrances are pretty basic so if you're a bit worried them being too herbal or too strange they are not they are just very very pleasant but i expected more so with that being said i try out the whole line in prague i didn't like it but i thought okay i need to take my time when i'll be in frankfurt and just uh, make my decision there so obviously i went to frankfurt and they um plan to have an event, a launch of this collection and I got there and two of fragrances were already sold out. Can you imagine that? They didn't even have a tester for me to try them out, so that was pretty disappointing and um, I knew that I don't want lupine and patchouli, so I ended up buying three perfumes and two of them I got in this nice uh, springish green box out of uh, pretty cheap material, but the design is nice, it has a vibrant green color with all the flowers and herbs that um, are featured in the fragrances, but I found that they didn't really thought it through creating a box only for two perfumes because there are five in the collection. So if I wanted to get all five, I needed to get uh, two of them in the box and one extra, which I don't know, doesn't make sense to me. So let's start with a perfume that is called Willow and Amber. And it has really cool notes of willow tree and I thought, oh my god, what's that? How will that smell? So um, the packaging first, the design, the style is nice. It has this uh, willow or Eevee leaves, right? And I love Eevee as a tree. Uh, it is beautiful and I love the leaves and I love the design. It is pretty basic, the, sim the most simple one out of all. And the fragrance first is pretty sharp. It opens with this almost lemonish, vetiver scent that goes straight into your face. It is sharp and uh, very strong and uh, a bit messy. I don't like it first, but then when it calms down, it actually turns uh, more like cashmere wood, more gentle and soft, but at the same time it is still inoffensive, uh, very office-like fresh scent that would be great to layer with other fragrances from this collection and just with other perfumes. It just provides that very fresh, slightly woodsy, herbal, um, clean aroma and I do like it actually, it is very unisex as the whole collection, um, I like that they uh, created it in the very unisex style. And that one is alright, I don't get a lot of amber or vanilla out of that, I just get some, um, as I've said, citrusy vetiver and then just fresh herbs. So let's move on to the favorite uh, of mine from this collection, which is called Hemlock and Bergamot, and uh, it has almost like deal on the bottle, right? So that's kind of cool. It looks very nice and it matches my shirt. And the notes in here are amazing. We have powder, we have heliotrope, and it does smell pretty powdery, but at the same time, it smells citrusy and very vibrant and sparkling and uh, it is a crisp scent but at the same time it is fluffy because of mimosa and powdery and this is probably the most feminine one and most appealing to me because I love powder and this is that unique powder, sparkling, fresh, citrusy, herbal. I love it. It is a great, great scent. I wish I had two bottles, a backup and this one that I could go crazy with. It is very springish, sunny and just beautiful. If I needed to recommend one for women from this collection, that would be Hemlock and Bergamot. And the final one, which is the most interesting and creative fragrance that I didn't think that I will like it, but I ended up loving it, is called Kate and Cedarwood. And as you can see, we have almost like juniper berries on it. And that is exactly how it smells. It smells of juniper berries intensely, but also of burning, woodsy and uh, herbal um, smoke. And uh, I kind of like it because 
I have never experienced anything from Jo Malone in this style and I don't really like smoky woodsy perfumes from niche brands because you know they create intense fragrances and I find this one is pretty fresh but mysterious and more appropriate for nighttime. It is also great for cool weather because it has this touch of vanilla which is very aromatic so this one is going towards masculine side but it is really interesting and I find that this one is worth attention the most so i highly recommend you guys to check it out and to leave me a comment below if you are already familiar with this collection if so what are your favorites were you disappointed or excited or surprised by this collection i can't really say that this collection has amazing longevity fragrances are very layerable so they are also effortless fresh but they do not last that long. Are they creative? Yes, do I recommend them to try if you have a chance? Definitely, but this is not a groundbreaking collection. And uh, let me know if you are gonna purchase it or not. I really want to know your opinion on this new flower and weeds collection and if you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and stay tuned, smell good, we'll see each other next time really soon. Bye guys!